Grant and Karen here with you. How's it going out there? Uh, it's going. We're not, uh, we've not had any arguments yet, which is good. She just told me to hit that right, and I hit it left. So that's about as, uh, as the day's going so far. You make a good team. Let's talk about the fist bump <laughs> we just uh, had aborted there at the, uh, at the fifth hole. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm really put in the corner of my and I said, listen, you can't be doing that. You're not a spectator anymore, Carly. You, you're part of my team. You can't be embarrassing me like that. So uh, she's going to calm it down for the rest of the round. But... Uh, yeah, bless her, it's kind of cute. What's the funniest thing she's said to you on the golf course so far? So far today? Or in general, because this is not the first time she's caddied for you, so... Yeah, um, actually the funniest was at shot right. I hit a horrendous shot on the par three, and she actually asked me if it was a par four. Um, that's how bad the shot was. She was like, is this a, this, is this a par four? I was like, uh, yeah, you need to back off now a bit for me, please. <laughs> All right, we're going to take another look. This is maybe our shot of the day. Carly fired up. Hey, nice going. Fist bump. Uh, no, 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 no. Act like you've been there. Isn't that the phrase we say sometimes? She's dropped the putt cover. She's dropped the putt cover, look. Uh-oh. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Christina Kim, you're a second caddy there. Yeah, I know. She's helping me out a lot today, bless her. <laughs> Mel, back-to-back -back birdies since uh, you put the mic on. Things are looking good out there for you. Yeah, um, it's tough today. I was like, this afternoon it's windy. Um, luckily, I've got a professional caddy on the bag, so that helps. Uh -huh. but, um, <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was nice. Nice couple of putts going in. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it's just tough today. you just got really got to trust on your lines and commit to the swings and stuff but it's, it's really difficult when you've got like a 35 mile an hour wind just blowing off your shoulders all the time you you won in Shoprite, and it could be windy there too what do you remember about about your victory there and uh, what we were thinking lead going into that final round um it's funny i kind of was just i was very confident obviously um felt like my swing was obviously in a good place i'd had a couple good finishes coming into that event which helps um and honestly, like, it's, it's funny. Somebody's asked me, I didn't really do a lot different from the other weeks that I'd played well. I just kind of got a little bit of lucky breaks here and there and hold a few more putts. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it was awesome to kind of get over that line and get that monkey off the, my back and, and win out here. I mean, it's just so tough out here to win. And, you know, when you get given an opportunity, you kind of want to grab it with both hands. So it was a lot of fun. All right, go make you another birdie here. Mel. Hey Mel, you had the uh, the club switch there from three wood to, to driver. What was going through the, the thought process there? Um, cassette you put. Um, basically, it's, this is a bit of a difficult golf course for me. It's like I feel like it's always in between driver and three wood, um, and I just felt if I think I don't know. I just wanted to be kind of cut a driver and take a little bit off it rather than hit a three wood. Because with this win, if I kind of pop a three wood or get too spinny with a three wood, I just could have had a long club in. So. I went with the driver, I don't know where it is. It might be in the bunker or it's short, I don't know, but I kind of hit it how I wanted to. So I just feel like on a hole like this, it's pretty tough. And I just thought that was the right choice. <laughs> I liked it, you were fine. <laughs> hey Mel, Mark okay, Rolfing thanks. here. <laughs> cool. Hey Mel, it's Mark Rolfing here. I just called your putt on the last hole of seventh green. And I'm wondering whether or not you read that putt or your caddy. Um, definitely not Carly, definitely not Carly. Um, she's actually an amazing putter but she actually doesn't know how to read green, so it's kind of amazing how good of a putter she is when we play. Um, she literally puts like a kid. I kind of enjoy playing with her, but um, yeah, no, that was a bad read for me, unfortunately. I wish I could blame her, but that was, uh, yeah, that's, I own that, that was all on me. And being a Hawaii guy, Mel, I'm kind of interested. You're an adventurer. What have you been doing to have fun? You can't be having that much fun playing golf. What have you been doing here in Hawaii to have fun away from the course? Um, I'm staying in a house with Marina um, and Bronte, which is uh, obviously just fun in itself. Um, it's always important on the road <laughs> to kind of hang out with mates and, and stay in a house. But we're actually doing, I don't know what the thing is opposite the golf course, but they're like, they're like man-made waves. And we're going to do that tomorrow. We're going to either do surfing or paddleboarding. That's kind of what we're doing tomorrow afternoon. So that's kind of the only bit of adventure. We've, we've gone to the beach, had a little walk on the beach one night, but pretty low key, to be honest. Yeah, there's not like I wanted to do a bit of surfing, but... I was also a bit tired from the travel, so um, yeah, we're just doing that little activity tomorrow and then probably just chill the rest of the time. All right, sounds like fun. <laughs> All right, Mel has been kind enough to wear the mic and then put the AirPod in as well. Uh, we've got a major championship next week. 
Uh, tell us about the Chevron championship and uh, your thoughts going into it. Yeah. Um, you know, when it, obviously it's moved now to Houston, obviously it's got a different title sponsor. So I think the girls are pretty excited to see what it's like. I've heard the course is really, really good. Um, listen, I love majors, so <laughs> um, it would be nice to play well in it, obviously. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a travel getting from there to from here, sorry, to there. But, you know, you just got to try and get your body in the best shape possible. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I feel like obviously with my injury, I'm feeling much healthier now. So I'm actually excited to go to tournaments and, and try and compete and, you know, kind of ease my way. Well, not ease my way. I would like a good result, obviously. But, you know, I actually feel like I can compete again, which is uh, which is a nice feeling. So I'm excited for next week. It should be good fun. Well, talking about your injury, how has the, the rehab been for that and, and getting back into this kind of form? Yeah, it was it was rough, honestly. Like, I struggled. I struggled a lot mentally as well with it because, you know, I, I'm very active, <laughs> um, as you know. And I, for me to, like, not be able to do stuff was, was tough for me mentally. Um, but you know what? Like, it gave us a lot of time at home. Um, you know, we did a... We did a lot of really good stuff. Uh, I worked really, really hard with my mental coach, Duncan McCarthy, did a lot of rehab with my physio, Annalise, and Ken McDonald, my trainer. And yeah, I feel like we're, it was probably a really good thing that happened to me. Um, I can't, I'm not, you know, 21 anymore. I can't hit thousands of golf balls, which I love to do. Um, so, you know, I've got to be a little bit smarter and that's probably a good thing for me is to just, you know, really kind of take the quantity away from it and make it really quality. So. It was a big lesson curve for me, and you know, I thought I was invincible. You know me, stuff. So, yeah, I always think I'm yeah. invincible, and I'm not. So <laughs> it was good for me.